I was recently asked, what are some of the worst home improvement uh, jobs that I can do that will not give me much, if any, of a return on my investment? So on recent shows and videos, I've shared the top ROI projects that actually bring you money in. Uh, but here are five of the worst home improvement projects you can take on. Uh, number one, pools. Pools do not do much, if anything, for your value. Even if you get an in-ground pool that costs 20 to 60 grand and it's all fancy with the patio and everything, most pools are a deterrent to people, to home buyers. Um, my thought on pools is that if you're getting it for yourself, if you're going to be in the house long term, awesome, do it for yourself. But if you're looking to sell, in my opinion, take it down. If it's an in-ground pool, you're pretty much stuck with it and you'll have to just face that reality. So uh, number two, home offices. Uh, you know, I work in and out of my home and I have a broker's office and all that. But in all reality, dedicated home offices, which can cost 10 to 20 grand if it's done right, uh, are not appealing to home buyers. And they don't do anything for your home value. If you have a nice fancy home office, it's not going to do much, if anything, for a potential home buyer or your value. So home offices are pretty much going away. People are working at the kitchen table, uh, off of laptops, inside Starbucks, wherever. Uh, it's just home offices are going away. Number three, uh, this one's kind of surprising to me, but I get it. Sunrooms. Uh, Sunrooms are nice if they're done right. Absolutely. They, they give you a little more space. They're nice and cozy, but they don't do anything for your value. Uh, and oftentimes they come with higher maintenance costs um, and they, they, they can be deemed as ugly to a potential buyer. So do sunrooms do anything for your home value? No. Quite honestly, they're a waste unless you're going to be there long term. Number four, dedicated master suites. So, you know, large master suites that are all nice and fancy and you, you don't want to spend a lot of money there, uh, if anything, quite honestly. Do paint, do basics. Uh, the Grand Master Suite is not appealing, and it's not going to do anything for your value. Home buyers aren't going to walk in and go, oh, wow, that's a great Master Suite. People are spending less and less time, time in that room, and uh, the open floor plan, the open living room, the open kitchen, tide, everything open, open, open. That is what is appealing, and so the Master Suite that is grand is going away. Uh, number five, garages. Believe it or not, not a lot of people like an oversized garage. Now, uh, in Macomb County, what I've seen is a lot of newer subdivisions. Um, they're not being allowed sheds. Uh, sheds can often be ugly. They can be, although they're, you know, some are, are really nice these days, but uh, a lot of municipalities are getting away from sheds when new subdivisions and, area, and homes are being built. So I've seen more three-car garages. But overall, it doesn't do much for your value. A home with a three-car garage is not going to be dramatically more compared to a house that has a 2.5 garage. Uh, it's, it's, it's a rare, small amount of home buyer that's going to be looking for that extra garage space. It, it costs more to heat. Keep in mind what's above the garage too. Costs more to heat. And overall, it costs more money uh, than it does. So you won't get, get much back, if any, from uh, a larger garage. So those are the five worst home improvement jobs that you can do on a house.